Get off, champ. You'll nail that open face air. Some year. Uh-oh. Your crush is cozying up to Kelly, queen of dorkness. Whatever. I'm totally over Ty. Who needs some cute surf-all-day guy with broad shoulders and sparkling teeth and perfect abs? What? Nice surfing. Maybe if you had a cute new bikini that your hot boyfriend just bought you, you'd do better on the waves. Yeah, well, maybe if you were nicer, small children wouldn't cry when they see you. <gasps> burn! <laughs> Double burn! You did not just say that to senior staff. I'm gonna teach you some respect. Hey, Edna. Saw you bail on that open face air. What you might want to try is... Ooh, look at your shoulders! Your big, strong shoulders. They're getting burned. They are a little red. Come on, I'll rub sunscreen on them. You are so good to me. There you go, Alberta. Yeah, way to shake it off. Dude, where's the surf wax? Where it always is, guy. I got the munchies. Nice braids, girl. Thanks. Fire some sunscreen? Totally. Hmm, Keanu Cole bobblehead, fungus erase foot cream. I was looking for that. Hmm, gotta have sunscreen in here somewhere. <laughs> It'll help, dude. Um, <laughs> thanks anyway, guys. Sweet Betty, sweet braids. <laughs> baby, you should get some. These days, there's more fro than bro. Yeah, maybe. Ugh, smartphone? More like stupid phone. Every time I dial, this thing takes a video. That's not good. How am I supposed to be the 88th caller to win Gorgeous Brothers tickets? The Grossness Brothers? Maybe it is a smartphone. Oh, my life is so hard. Should I ask? No need. Let me tell you what happened. My whole fam is going on Daddy's business trip to Thailand, but they haven't invited me. That's terrible. Someone should start a telethon. I know, because even though they banished me from the penthouse and made me work this stupid maid job, I don't hold a grudge. I mean, I just want to love them. My mean, selfish, inconsiderate family. No grudges, huh? My mean, selfish, inconsiderate family. Yeah? What's your point? Coming! What are you doing? Making extra percussion for my new beads. See? Dude, it's like I've got my own theme song wherever I go. If you want more percussion, have that song theme you somewhere else. Whoa! Sweet braids, brah! 
Hey, what's his deal? He gets braids and he's too cool to talk to me? Uh, he couldn't hear you, dude. The Beads play some kind of theme song. Why didn't he say so? I play a mean death bell. Okay, not a music fan. Can you tell me if you see my mom? I need to set up a lunch date so I can sweet talk her into bringing me on daddy's business trip. I see your mom. Exactly, just like that. What's the haps, homegirl? Mom, um, hey, I was thinking, do you want to have lunch before you go on daddy's trip? Aw, you're going to miss your BFF? Um, yeah, I'm going to miss the whole family. That's sweet, sis. Lo wants to have a goodbye meal. Great. We can do it in the DR. I'll get Kelly to set it up. No! I mean, don't make Kelly go to any trouble. You're right. I shouldn't ask Kelly to set it up. That's so rude. <laughs> right. Rude. Totally. I should ask her to eat with us. What? Awesome! See you at lunch, dudes. I'm guessing that's not how you wanted that conversation to go. I'll take that as a no. Just blow it out. No one's looking. Nice. Great! I can't land this open face air, and now I'm that guy's punchline. What you need to do is channel some of that anger into your surfing. But I don't get angry. Emma, emergency lunch shift. Dining room. Now. <laughs> lunch shift on your day off? Angry now? Not at all. Then, after we check out Bangkok, maybe we can go snorkeling in Koh Tao? Ooh, sounds fun! I love snorkeling. Hi, Rich Mounts. Hey, Kel. You really didn't have to go to all this trouble. Oh, it was nothing. Just your average five-course lobster dinner that I had the chef prepare special for you guys. Right this way. Honey, your new shorty sure is the bomb diggity. Gag. Funny you should say gag, Rich Mount. You may be doing a lot of that today, because it's payback time for your little poutine incident. Oh, no. Listen, can we just put this on pause? I really need this lunch to go well so I can go on vacay with my fam. Do you now? Yeah. I mean, I know tempers are a little hot right now, but isn't revenge a dish best served cold? Oh, I disagree. Revenge is a dish best served by... That! <gasps> Maybe now you'll think twice before you talk back to a senior. Enjoy your lunch, Ridgemount. There's a special ingredient just for you. Oh. This is even more embarrassing than it looks. You want embarrassing? If I don't go on this trip, I won't have a back-to-school tan. Emma, come on. How hard can it be to serve in a lobster suit? Don't those usually have rubber bands around them for safety? Ow! See what I mean? Where's your board, man? I'll meet you dudes later. Gotta get Cindy to tighten up my braids. Dude, you're choosing your hairdresser over surfing? You're choosing anything over surfing? That tune sounds familiar. Hmm. Maybe I should get braids. Did you get enough to eat? Edna can totally get you more. So, big trip to Thailand. You guys must be excited. Daddy, how many people does your private jet seat again? Five. That many? Gee. Because by my count, there's only one, two, three, four of you going. And you know what they say, a ticket to Thailand is a terrible thing to waste. Wow, great motto, Lo. You know what else is a terrible thing to waste? Food. Lo, you haven't touched your lunch. Is everything okay? Oh, yeah. I'm not that hungry. Try it, homegirl. Kelly went to all this trouble. Yeah. I went to so much trouble. Have a bite, sis. Have a bite. Stop! I didn't come to this lunch to eat. I came to talk about the extra seat for the trip to Thailand. Lo has a point, hun. It would be a shame to waste it. You're right. In that case... Yes? Yes? Kelly, how would you like to come to Thailand? I... I'd love to! <laughs> we are going to have so much fun! Hey, Cornrow. Nice hair farm. Whatever, guy. Let's ride. Oh, 
Man, you must be full, because I've never seen you eat that much break. I think my leash tripped me up. Check this open face air, guy. Whoa! I've never seen Brosif surf this bad. I've never seen you surf this bad. Dude, I think Brosif's lost his stoke. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly is so going down for this. It's one thing to use my brother, but I will not stand by while she uses Daddy's private jet. Yeah. She calls you in here to serve on your day off. Yeah. And did you see the way she kissed Ty to celebrate? Yeah. I'll put something in her food. Let's see how she likes the taste of marmalade. Mm. Too obvious. We have to fight fair by being sneaky and conniving. And this time, we'll win. Because this time, it'll be two against one. Emma, I don't think I've ever seen you so angry. It kind of scares me. I like it. Oh, I'm not angry. I'm determined. Kelly made me wear these claws. Now they're coming out. Figuring out how Brosif lost his stoke is simple math. If x is his stoke and y equals the square root of pi, then logically, you must isolate the variable v. Are you following this? No. I don't understand math during school. Why would I understand it in the middle of summer? Brosif? Is he even listening? Dude, when do we ever listen to you? I'll give you another example. In grade school, I used to get girls, x. But high school brought another variable into the equation. Back knee. And poof, no more girls. Duh. Why didn't you say that in the first place? Sweet. So, if we find the new variable here, we'll know why Brosif can't surf. And... Sure, sure, sure. But first, tell us more about how you don't get girls. Well, it's not just the back knee. It's also my lack of confidence, and... <laughs> I think we're done here. <coughs> Hi. Dude. Ice cream is a great idea, Mrs. R. You're so cool. What's that, Kelly? Oh, you want to pay for the ice cream to say thanks for the free trip to Thailand? That is so sweet. Well, I I guess I could. Thanks. I'll have a strawberry gelato. I'll have three scoops and a waffle cone. I'll have the kitchen sink sundae. But that's like 20 scoops. No one can eat all that. Good thing I skipped dinner then. I guess I need to hit the ATM. A change in Brosif's diet could be the variable we're looking for. What did you eat today? Started with a bacon and fudge danish, then a couple of pastrami waffles, and a piece of meat cake. Mmm, mac and cheese. Ah, mystery solved. Bro can't surf because of all that crazy bad food. Right. I eat that stuff every day. There goes that theory. Mm. Uh, Brosif, that oh. mac and cheese is moldy. We need to look elsewhere. Oh, and you need to see a nutritionist. Oh, oh, look! What's that? Dear Ty, I had to go, and I totally can't impose on your trip. It would make me a total kook to horn in, because you should totally take low. She's such a good daughter. <gasps> Ow! Mounts. Like my little joke letter? <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Oh, you got us! You're such a joker! I knew you were totally into Thailand. Totally. <laughs> nice catch, dude. <sighs> I wish Ty thought so. Who are we kidding? We can't beat Kelly. She's pure evil. We'll beat her. Just wait till Ty gets a call from Kelly's other boyfriend, J-Rod. Yo, this be J-Rod. I was calling to talk to Kelly because she be my girlfriend. Yeah, me, J-Rod. <laughs> nice try. I know what you're trying to do, and it won't work. This vacation's just the beginning. I'm going to be at Christmas dinners, New Year's, Valentine's Day. Pretty much any time there are presents involved, I'm there. Before you know it, I'll be in Daddy's will. Oh, no, she didn't. You stay away from Daddy's will, you gold digger. Some things are sacred. Yeah, what are you going to do about it, Ridgemount? You mean, what are we going to do about it? Before you know it, I'll be in Daddy's will. Why don't we show my family what you're really like? Oh, family! Wait! We've considered everything. Brosif's diet is the same, he hasn't changed his bi-monthly bathing schedule, and his sleeping is standard 15 hours a day. We need reinforcements, dude, and I know exactly who can help.
Kahuna, why do you have a giant wind machine in your backyard? Never know when you're gonna need to test the wind resistance on a new board, dude. Plus, I do a little modeling. Brosif, how do you feel? He can't hear you. He hasn't heard anything all day, thanks to those stupid braids. That's it! The chain's variable. It's the braids! Of course! Wait, what? The braids are the only thing Bros has changed. He must have got his awesome surf balance from the wind resistance his fro gave him on the waves. No fro, no stoke. I knew those braids were evil. Let's hit the beach. Hey, Kahuna, thanks for the... Oh. Hey, guys. I have something you should see, especially you, Ty. Um... Who wants more ice cream? No, thanks. I got the sweetest treat right here. Ridge mount. Girlfriend. Sister. Possibly sister-in-law. Ew, please don't say that. I have a deal for you. You erase that video. I'll get you your gig back in the DR. You can skip work every day and I won't say a word. So you get to vacate with Ty and I get to work on my back-to-school tan. Okay, dude. Ditch the braids and let's ride! Yeah! Uh, no. Huh? Why not? I can't ditch my braids. I'd lose my theme song, bruh. It's my thing. I love that song! Me too! Real man, what's up? See? Broseph, dude, we finally figured out how to get your stoke back, and now you don't want it? Sorry, bruh. The braids stay. Three words, dude. Disappointing! Come on, Johnny, let's grab a set. Lo, what gives? Why haven't you played Ty the video and crushed Ketley once and for all? Mr. R, you should know that Lo is one of the hardest workers at Surfer's Paradise. I would love it if she joined my team in the DR. Her team? Lo, what is she talking about? Um, the hotel curling team? Wouldn't you be overstaffed with Lo working there? No, I just fire Emma. <gasps> It's not what it sounds like. Funny, because it sounds like you stabbed me in the back. Ow! Emma! Wait! Better see if everything's all right. No! Wait! I got the lobster, but I did not catch no anchovy. No, 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 no. <sighs> Why such a landlubber, little dude? It's my theme song, guy. Can't give it up. Boss tune, man. Gnarly, dude. Your theme song is famous. Nice. And this is the Gorgeous Brothers. With their hit, Girl, I Heart You. What? My, my theme song is the Grossness Brothers? No! <laughs> I need waves! Goon is eating good tonight. The fro! It's back! <laughs> and so's the stoke. Oh, stupid Kelly. Stupid backstabbing low. Yes, Alberta, channel that anger. did not look healthy. She's not coming back up. Oh my gosh, Emma, please be okay. I think she needs mouth to mouth. What? Your mouth on hers? <sighs> Are you okay? Yeah. I'm great. Is everything okay? All good. Other than, you know, Emma almost drowning. Ty totally saved her. Totally? I wish I got some video of it. Oh! <gasps> I think you did get some video, didn't you, Lo? Bridge Mount, you hit play. Our deal is off. Yeah? Deal with this. 
selfish, inconsiderate family. Huh? <gasps> Oops. Very disappointing, Wo. Very disappointing. Dissing your peeps? Not fly, girlfriend. And to think, I was going to get Daddy to bring you to Thailand. Ah, <gasps> oh, too bad. No easy DR job for you, Ridgemount. But Emma, you're all mine. And I have a feeling next week is crap week. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry for even thinking about making a deal with Kelly. Let's just forget it. After all, you came through in the end, and I nailed an open face air. Yeah, you did. And I kissed your brother. Yeah, you did. Well, I'm off to scrub toilets. Hey, Emma. Just wanted to make sure you're okay. Y yeah, I'm... I'm fine. Hey, you actually got my name right. <laughs> Sorry. Should have known I had the wrong name all this time. You're too pretty to be an Edna. <gasps> oh, uh... Thanks. Saw that open face air, by the way. Pretty sweet. <laughs> Landing needs work. <laughs> Maybe I can give you tips sometime. Really? I'm... I... Sure. Sweet. Let's hook up when I get back from Thailand with my girlfriend. Girlfriend? <laughs>